All right, so let's do a real life example. So this is called the Markov chain or stochastic matrix. Okay, so suppose we want to model populations in cities and suburban area. So let CK be the city population in year K and SK be the suburban population in year K. Okay, to make things easier, let's assume total population stays the same. So we're only considering people moving between cities and suburban areas, but we're not considering people being born or people dying. Those things are not in this model. So let's look at this equation. So CK plus 1 equals to 0 0.8 CK plus 0 0.3 SK. And SK plus 1 equals to 0 0.2 CK plus 0 0.7 SK. Okay, so look at the left hand side is the year K plus 1. And the right hand side is year k. So this, uh, these two equations tell you how people move between cities and suburban areas. So this term means 80% every year. 80% of city population stay where they are. Whereas this term here in the bottom says that every year 20% of city population moved to suburban areas. So same thing with the other two terms. The bottom right says that every year, 70% of suburban population stays where they live and 30% 30% of suburban population move to cities. Okay, so a quick way to draw this diagram is you draw two circles, city and suburban. Suburban. And every year, 80% of the people stays there. So 80% stays and 20% move over. And for suburbians, 70% stays and 30% moved over. Okay, so this is called a Markov chain diagram. All right, so let's move down a little bit. <clears throat> so we want to take the system's linear equation. We want to rewrite it, so let's do that. So you notice you can rewrite it this way, in terms of vectors and matrices. So the left hand side is CK plus 1, SK plus 1. The right hand side is 0.8 CK plus 0.3 SK and 0.2 CK plus 0.7 SK. But the right hand side can be rewritten as a matrix multiplication. So this is actually equal to 0 0.8, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.7. The matrix, 2 by 2 matrix times CK SK. You can check that. Okay. So basically, this is saying that uh, CK plus 1, SK plus 1 is equal to a matrix A times. CK SK. Let's recall A is equal to 0 0.8, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.7. Okay. So every year pass when every year pass the populations multiply by the matrix A. So if you want to know the population after K years, then so C1 S1 <clears throat> is equal to I'm just gonna use black from now. Uh, C1, S1 
year one is equal to a times c zero s zero, and c two s two is equal to a times c one s one, but c one s one is a times c zero s zero, so it's a squared times c zero s zero, and so on and so forth. So after k years, c k s k is equal to a to the kth power times c zero s zero. <clears throat> So this is a uh, year K, and this is initial population. So to find out the population after K years, it reduces to find to finding out the power A to the K. So let's uh, do that on the side. You're gonna use all new space here. So we want to find out A to the K. We have to use diagonalization here. Okay, so to recall, A is point A, point 0.3, point 0.2, point 0.7. So we want to diagonalize the A. So first we solve determinant of A minus lambda equal to A lambda I equal to zero. So determinant of 0 0.8 minus lambda, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.7 minus lambda equal to zero. 0 0.8 minus lambda times 0 0.7 minus lambda minus 0.2 times 0.3 equal to 0. Lambda squared minus 1.5 lambda plus 0.56 minus 0.6 0 0.6 equal to 0. Lambda squared minus 1.5 lambda plus 0 0.5 equal to 0. This factors into lambda minus 0.5 and lambda minus 1 equal to 0. So we have two eigenvalues, 1 and 0.5, 0.5 and 1, 1.5. And I, I kind of switched them. Okay, so these are eigenvalues. And then after finding eigenvalues, we need to find the eigenvectors. So let's split it up. Uh, if lambda is 1, we want to solve a minus a minus i times v equal to 0. a minus i is negative 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 .6, negative 0.3. So we want to solve this thing times v equal to zero. Uh, a solution, we want to use integers because it's more convenient. A solution will be three, two. And for lambda equal to 0 0.5, we want to solve a minus 0.5i times v equal to zero. So this is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times v equal to zero. A quick solution integer is one zero one negative one. Okay. So there you go, we have our eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Eigenvalues here, eigenvectors here. So we can have a diagonalization of A. So the diagonalization is A equals to P D P inverse, where P is the matrix with columns being eigenvectors. So 3, 2, 1, negative 1. And D is equal to the diagonal matrix with diagonals being the eigenvalues, corresponding eigenvalues. So 1 and 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move somewhere. Let's Okay, so let's first recall the population in year k is equal to a to the k times population, original population. And a is equal to p dp inverse. And p is 3, 2, 1, negative 1. d is 1, 0, 0, 0.5. Uh, p inverse. You can quickly calculate it. This is, you have, we have a formula for p inverses of two by two matrices, P inverse is one over the determinant, which is negative five times negative one, negative one, negative two, three. Okay. All right, so if A is PDP inverse, then A to the K, from before we know it's P times D to the K times P inverse. So it's three, one, two, negative one times D to the K, so D is this, 
d to the k is the, we take the k power to the diagonal entries, and p inverse is that. Okay, so suppose you want to figure out if there's an equilibrium. between the populations of city and suburban areas, that means after a certain amount of time, do the population stabilize or not? So we want to see what happens when k is large. We, know, we all learn calculus. We don't have to pretend just by saying k is large. We want to take k goes to infinity. So a to the k is equal to these three matrices together. If as k goes to infinity, you see what changes. 1 to the k is just equal to 1, so that is equal to 1. So that doesn't matter. And But 0 0.5 to the k actually converges to 0 as k goes to infinity. So as k goes to infinity, a to the k is equal to p times 1, 0, 0, 0 times this thing. Then it's quickly calculated. It's not how to calculate. Uh, 3, 0, 2, 0 times. Put the negative 5. Let's pull the negative 5, 1 fifth to the front. And this is negative 3. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 2. Which is equal to 3 fifth, 3 fifth, 2 fifth, 2 fifth. Okay. So this is saying that if that's now we, we need initial population. So suppose the initial population is. Let's just say 50, 50. You can add a lot of zeros after that. Let's say initially there are 50 people in the city and 50 people in the suburban area. Then uh, CK after K years as K goes to infinity is equal to A to the K times C0 as 0. We know what A to the K is. A to the K is 3 fifth, 3 fifth, 2 fifth, 2 fifth times 50, 50. 50 is a nice number to multiply by. So eventually we get 60 and 40. So this means as k goes to infinity, uh, the population stabilizes. It's the city, suburban population stabilizes to 60% 40% ratio 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 all right